Do any of these emails look familiar to you? Spotify deals in tons of data each day. But how do they identify that someone from a different country has logged into your account? Well, it's because this login has been identified as an outlier. Outliers are data points which are very different from the other data points. The behaviors they exhibit are not the same. This makes us suspect that the mechanism of generation of these points is not the same as the remaining data. Hence, when a person logs into your account from a different country suddenly, Spotify suspects that someone could have hacked into your account. Here are some of the leading applications of outlier detection. Credit card fraud detection, medical care, image processing, and network surveillance. Outliers are of many types. To simplify this, let's assume a scale with local outliers at one extreme and global outliers at the other extreme. Global outliers are the points which are very different from the entire data set. Example point O3. But have a look at point O1. It is not very different from the entire data set, but it is very far from cluster C2 as well as from cluster C1. Therefore, O1 is a local outlier. Distance-based outlier detection techniques can't identify local outliers. Hence, we switch to density-based techniques like the local outlier factor algorithm to identify such local outliers. The local outlier factor algorithm is a density-based outlier detection technique which is useful in spotting local outliers. It is an unsupervised anomaly detection method. In this algorithm, basically every point is assigned a LOF score, that is a local outlier factor score. Based on a certain threshold, this score then decides if the given point is an outlier or a non-outlier. Before we delve into the steps of the algorithm, we need to commit some terms to memory. For a given point A, K distance of A is the distance between A and its K nearest neighbor. For K is equals to 3, the K distance of A is equals to the distance AD. K distance of neighborhood of A is the set of all objects which are at a distance less than the K distance of A from point A. In case of this example, where we've taken k is equals to 3, the k distance neighborhood of A contains all the neighbors of A in or on the pink circle, that is points B, C, D and E. Please note that it is not necessary that the set N, K must have K points. It could have more than K points in a case where multiple points are at an equal distance from the point A. For two objects A at A dash, the reachability distance from A dash to A is equal to the K distance of A if the actual distance between A and A dash is less than the K distance, else it is the actual distance between the two points. Please note that the reachability distance is not symmetric, that is the reachability distance from A dash to A is not equals to the reachability distance from A to A dash. The local reachability distance of A is the inverse of the average of the reachability distances of all the neighbors of A. If the local reachability distance is high, it means that the neighbors of A are far away and A is in a low density region. Local outlier factor score for A or simply the local outlier factor for A. It is the average of the local reachability distance values of all the neighbors of A divided by the local reachability distance of A. If the local outlier factor score for a point A is less than 1, it implies that A is not an outlier. 
However, if the local outlier factor score is greater than 1, it implies that the point A is an outlier. But the exact threshold beyond which we consider a point to be an outlier is defined by domain experts and it is completely application specific. Now let's look at the algorithm. First, calculate the reachability distance of all the neighbors, that is, the neighbors which are in the k distance neighborhood of the given point to the given point, then Calculate the local reachability distance of the given point. Next, calculate the loft score of the point. After which, the loft score is compared to the threshold. If the score is greater than the threshold, the object is an outlier, else it is an inlier. Repeat the steps from 1 to 4 for every single point in the data set. And at the end, we know which points in the data set are outliers and which are not. Thank you for watching. If you would like a more detailed explanation of the algorithm, please check the article in the description box.